Hi YouTube, it is me, your boy, Lithium Snow, coming in too with another video. Today, we are not joined by Britney Spears. I'm so sorry, you'll have to do with me as your host today. She'll be, she'll be back, I promise. But for now, you're gonna have to do with me. So, so sorry about it, but not really at all. So pretty much, I wanted to do something a little bit special today. I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to push my limits. So I decided to take a picture in this specific lighting setting and all that type of stuff and inverse the colors on one side of my face. So what I wanna do is pretty much on this side of my face, do my makeup completely inverse not the steps or anything like that but the color so highlights are gonna be black shadows are gonna be more white oranges will turn into blues yellows will turn into a different hue of blue and we culture rap is the new rock and roll we the rock stars it's been like that now. and reds will turn green got it okay good so pretty much that is gonna be the video for today i don't know how long this is gonna take i might look ridiculous and i might feel spectacularly but we'll see by the end of the video how i do okay just please root for me because i know in advance already now that i am gonna have a hard time <laughs> which is fine don't don't worry about it it's I'll, I'll be fine i promise so um i guess let's just jump right into it <laughs> So I have a picture right in front of me, right on my computer screen, where I can see pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know if I am gonna succeed, but you know, can always try. So pretty much, I think I'm gonna start off with the uh, Anastasia look, Beverly. <laughs> that is not correct. Pretty much all the colors, and I like using cream type products for face paint and all that type of stuff. Either cream type based products or water based face paint. For now, I think I'm gonna start off with the black in here, just right there. And a Sigma short shader brush, the E20. So we're gonna start off by unhighlighting the highlights. This is gonna be a bit weird. We're just gonna place like solid black in all the spots where the highlight would be, which is starting out on my note and right on my Globella. Globella. And on the forehead, of course, a lot of the forehead is quite black. I have a big old forehead, and that big old forehead is very highlighted. You know? A lot of that is gonna be entirely black. Honestly, to be entirely honest, I think what I'm most intimidated by is probably the colors itself. Because I feel like it's gonna be real hard to get these colors to look right in inverse. Because I don't know specifically, obviously, what colors I am using. But I'm gonna do my best to get as close to a realistic view as possible. Probably gonna <laughs> fail a little bit, but what well, well, with that mentality I am. Some right here, just like that. The inner corner, obviously, Look at that beautiful inner corner highlight. Wow, oh, that is stunning! That is stunning, absolutely stunning. Get some on the lips as well, get those little highlighted spots all gone. Hmm. So there we go. I've got our step one done. I think we look beautiful. I think this is a look. All right, so then we're gonna just dip into this blue and mix that with a little bit of yellow on the back of my hand. Get that greeny blue type of look, just like that. I think that's good enough. And we're gonna be starting that out right under here. Wow. And then just start feathering out that black with a little bit of blue in there as well. Just like that. Oh, I look marvelous. I look beautiful. So I have had a rough couple of past few days. My God, yo. If you've been following me on Twitter, you already know what the hell has been going on in my life. But pretty much for those of you who don't know, first of all, you should probably follow me on Twitter. Uh, shameless plug. So um, pretty much my upstairs neighbors for the past, I think three years or something like that, they have been fighting every single morning at uh, the butt crack of dawn, starting at five in the morning, every single morning. And they usually go on until about, I'd say about eight. Sometimes they go on all day, but 
usually around eight is where they draw the line because i'm pretty sure one of them goes to work but um yeah so pretty much we decided it has been enough we don't want to deal with this anymore we this is not how we want to live our life by the way Wow, love that for me. So my mama decided that we were gonna hang a note on their front door. Tell them, you know, we all don't stop. You know, just say, if y'all don't stop, we're gonna call the police, yada yada. This is not acceptable. So we hung that on their front door. Now hear me out. About an hour later is when I realized that note was there. So then that hour later, the man of the couple, because I'm pretty sure it's a couple. I'm assuming so anyway. They're not a very good couple, but you get the idea. So pretty much was he decided to patrol our gallery and ring everyone's doorbells, start banging on people's doors and stuff like that. And we were terrified, so we called the police and they told us next time they're in the middle of a fight, please call right away and we'll come over and you know. So pretty much a bit later that day, I was by myself. They started fighting again. By the way, when I say fighting, I don't just mean fighting. They are throwing shit at each other. Extremely loud, they're stamping around, they're running around. Their front door is scuffed at this point, which I don't know how they did that. Front door window is broken out and covered in by a plank of wood for some reason. Again, don't know how they did that, but they managed to. So uh, yeah, pretty much we were done dealing with all that. You know what I mean? Every single morning for the past, uh, three four years anywho um they came knocking on on our and our neighbors and everyone's front doors and stuff and he tried to look through my window stood outside like right there behind me i could see his silhouette behind my curtains obviously i was terrified because we were we were kind of scared we were kind of scary kids you know what i mean so uh again the police told us to call next time anything happens so he did why i was by myself my mama called the police for me because i am scared of these neighbors and they're right above me and you know so she called the police police came over apparently i don't i didn't quite see them but then 20 minutes after the police apparently left they, he came knocking and banging and ringing on my door again again i was just kind of scared and i didn't know what to do but nothing more than that came of that day so all right next day he is painting the front door apparently this man is painting the front door i don't know why he's painting the front door but this man painted the front door the wrong color <clears throat> anyway uh yeah that was pretty much the story for now i'll tell you guys any updates if i have any in the next video but for now that's about it so yeah that has been my week pretty much so how have you guys been how has your day been how has your week been let me know in the comments down below and i'm sure i'll read all of them anywho i'm still just i made a little mix adding some yellow and some white to this as well try and get the right color i don't know if this is right but it feels wrong it feels very wrong but i ain't I ain't gonna worry about it. It's on my face now and I ain't taking it off. I have a feeling that this will probably look pretty scary, to be completely honest. I might have to use a sponge, but I don't want to use a sponge because I'll get a sponge real dirty. Uh. By the way, this is one of the darkest areas, so I'm just adding your white to that. Just white? Yeah, we're out here looking a little bit patchy. I'm not gonna lie. That's fine, right? That'll be fine. Some white up in here. Here, mix that in together. Do a little bit of a blendy, a blendy blend, if you will. A what? What did I just? You ever say things and realize you were really annoying? So I sure do. Some more white up there. I'm gonna do my best to blend all of this together a little bit with a smaller tiny little brush. Some white in the crease to really deepen up the crease right here in the center too you know what i've noticed a lot of people seem very confused or angered by my accent for some reason like you're watching my video you're coming to my channel to watch my video you're gonna be mad at me for having an accent like let me tell you bro i I'm Dutch. First of all, no, I am not Neki Tutorials. I'm so sorry about it. I'm very sad about it too. Sorry. Um, second of all, I live in the Netherlands. I am Dutch. I speak Dutch. My native tongue is Dutch. We speak Dutch on the streets here in the Netherlands. We don't speak English as a native tongue. So, uh, 
I don't get exposed to English every single day, not like that. I don't have to use English every single day. So, to all of you who are annoyed by my accent, you can genuinely go suck a big one. Because honestly, just remember, I speak Dutch. I... Je parle un petit peu français aussi, ce n'est pas très bien, mais... Um, I speak English fluently. I speak Dutch. Dutch is my native tongue. I know three languages. Three. How many do you know? You wanna criticize me for, you know, not perfectly speaking either American, British, or Australian, or whatever it is that you want to criticize me for? Go right ahead. Just know that I'm pro I'm probably smarter than you. Keep criticizing my accent, telling me I sound dumb, because I love that for you. I feel like the eyelid is gonna be the wrong color, but that. I'm fine with that. I don't mind. Not everything has to be perfect, right? Screw it. I am the artist, and I am calling it right now. Not everything has to be perfect. There is a hair in my eye. Love that. I'm not gonna worry about my eye color because I can't change that. I don't. I cannot wear lenses because my eyes don't work like that. I have very dry eyes apparently, and lenses just won't go in my eyes. So like, what? sue me. What if this turns out okay? What if I inverse the colors and it looks? Not horrible. All right, so I just went in and took a little bit of a picture. And we look on a little bit of a little bit beige. So I'm gonna have to add some more greens to it. So for that, I'm gonna use the NYX Ultimate Palette. And I'm gonna go into this blue right here and this green right here. And I'm just using a BH Cosmetics brush for that. I just putting that right here. Getting a little bit of that blush going, you know what I mean? Some under the eye as well. Cause I got some redness under my eyes. A little bit with this on my lips, a little bit of that. I'm gonna have to add some more black, some more black. So for that, I'm gonna be using the, the Black Moon Cosmetics or Reflect Palette, which the outside of it is a bit beat up, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Give my lips a little bit of that healthy glow going on. You know what I mean? Love this look for me. If anything, I, I think I look stunning. You might disagree, and that's fine. We're all entitled to our opinions. So next up, I'm gonna be taking my White Swan by Graftobian. This water activated body paint. Just gonna be taking a spoolie brush and just writing that on, coating that brush in a white body paint. And uh, we're gonna do our eyelashes with that. Coating that in some white, some white, and then a last but not least for the white, I'm gonna be putting that in my eyebrows. some more a little bit of a green of this color right here in the waterline add a little bit more white to the lip i think i'm gonna go even a little bit more extra and i'm gonna include the neck and my hair as well so i'm just gonna start out by painting right down here go in the ear as well obviously I think I want to get a little artistic with it, so I'm gonna add like a few little brush strokes down here. Add some black on top of here because this is highlighted usually. A little bit darker right down here. And then just kind of blue and, and green and, and all that type of good stuff. All this down here up a little bit more. Get the subculture out, get axes going on. All right, in the center here. And then for the ear, it's pretty much just all gonna be pretty green, like so. And then for the hair, I am just gonna be taking a little brush and mostly just adding white to it because from what I can tell in inverse, my hair is kind of just white. So I'm just gonna use a water-based body paint in my hair so that it washes out real easy because I don't wanna get stuck with paint in my hair, you know what I mean? Body paint is a pain to get out of your hair, trust me. So there we go. I think that is pretty much it for the look. Now, obviously, I cannot quite see how it looks as I'm filming this right now. So, uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I think I want to add maybe some more dark 
on the neck, like right in here. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. So uh, I think this is it. This is the final finished product, the finished look, if you will. Uh, knowing all of you, I'm pretty sure y'all will leave me a comment to let me know in the comments down below how you think I did. Um, I can assure you right now that when I invert this, it's not gonna look right. So uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below um, for this challenge. Can I, do people actually still nominate people to do challenges and all that type of stuff? Or is that just a distant memory that we don't look back on? I nominate everyone. All of you. I will be very mad if you don't do this challenge. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I know this is, pr this is probably the sixth video of mine you're watching, so you might as well subscribe. You might as well join the family. Just join the family. It's fun. We're a fun bunch. Come on. I say as if I'm not sitting here shirtless with a half inverted face. Which my ad looks terrifying. <laughs> anyway, um, see you guys in the next video and goodbye. I love you guys so much. Bye.